In our next step, we are going to create JPA objects or Java Persistence API objects. When you hear the word persistence, that means it needs to be saved to a file or a database. And the next time someone you know, opens the app, it's still there. So persistence, it persists, not just the lifespan of you know, the program in memory. Luckily, uh, NetBeans can auto-generate the basic JPAs from uh, your database. So to do this, we click on our project, Turtle Tracker project, do right click new and say other, and scroll down to the persistence folder right here. And you will see entity classes from database. Select that and say next. And then you'll notice an error uh, immediately. And that's because in the drop down for database connections, you have to select your turtle tracker. And it will connect to the turtle tracker and tell you all of the tables here in available tables. Just click all of them. Let's move them all to selected tables and say next. And um, for package, type in entity. Uh, this will be a folder that gets created or a package uh, where they will be placed. And then we say next. And I believe you can just set the defaults and say finish. And it takes a minute because it's generating some code. All right, and in your project, uh, you'll notice under source packages, there's a new uh, folder or package called entity, and there will be a, um, an, a class for each of your database tables, and you can look through the code uh, and will allow you to interact with the database.